let's get rid of that. All right, so I want to make a public surface announcement, okay? If you are an author who is published, who is well known, and you want to end your career, like you want to cancel yourself, you want to take a knife and you want to stab yourself, I have the deal for you. Uh, this video is a gift from me to you, okay? This is the video for you to cancel and end your career because we're going to be talking about authors who have gone absolutely insane, who have lost the narrative, who have lost... Oh, And you see, you see, you see, you see, a lot of these authors, they have lost the narrative because of one thing. And that thing is because of the ego. Like a lot of them, the main reason why they're getting canceled and the main reason that they've managed to cancel themselves is because they cannot fathom. They cannot fathom for the love of God that someone can hate the book that they have spent years loving and writing and, you know, in their own eyes, perfecting. This actually happened recently with an author called Lauren uh, Hugh. I, I'll call her Lauren for the rest of the video. And we will actually talk about other authors who have also let the ego run and ruin their career and get them cancelled. So first of all, let's talk about Lauren. Lauren was actually one of the most beloved writers in Twitter and she had one of the cleanest images. Like, she keep this in mind, the person that is currently being Islam dunked by Booktube, by, you know, uh, Bookstagram, by, you know, uh, Book Twitter, everyone. The author that everyone seems to be hating for the last two weeks was actually one of the most respected and loved people in the entirety of Twitter, okay? And she even had a lot of humanitarian tweets where she talked about workers and worker rights. And actually, it wasn't a surprise when her book came out. And her book actually garnered a lot of success. It was literally the top 100. And you see, the world, her fans, Booktube, Bookstagram, Book, Twitter, everyone was actually quick to congratulate Lauren. Everyone was here for Lauren. Everyone loved Lauren. But Lauren had to let her ego ruin everything. Like she literally had to let her ego ruin everything. She could not keep it in check. And she missed, here's the, here's the kicker, she missed the obvious. On one terrible afternoon she well afternoon from my perspective <laughs> she made a tweet she literally went boom i'm going to make this tweet and i'm going to attack someone who gave me four stars how dare you give me four stars for my book which is a seven out of five it is a thousand out of, how dare you she could not see that others did not think her book was perfect she could not let that sink into her head. She had to let her ego literally ruin what she spent years and years building. Because you see, it is not easy. It is not easy to just make tweets and to become as successful as Lauren. It is not easy to garner as much respect as she did. And it is not easy to go as viral as Lauren uh, in terms of what she did. She had spent years, years literally building a platform and she was successful beyond any literal regard like she was top one percent of the top one percent of the top one percent of people who have ever published books but she could not let the reality that someone gave her book a four star let go like she had to go on twitter and she ranted to her large massive audience of over sixty thousand people who have actually followed her twitter and she literally blew this out of proportion someone gave you five stars and then someone else gave you four stars and then you decided to attack the person who gave you. why why would you attack someone who gave you four stars it just doesn't add up the only way you can explain this is because she did not think her book was with a flaw she could not comprehend it and I think this is crazy because authors oftentimes end up letting this ego run them their life and ruin them, you know, what they have spent literally decades building. And you know what? You know what? The backlash on Lauren was literally immediate. It did not take book Twitter one day to catch up. I think a few hours after she made that tweet, uh, complaining about the people who gave her four stars and saying sh they were pretending to be tough reviewers. 
Well, guess what? Now, actually, everyone was tough on her. You see, before, her book had literally a 4 plus star rating. It had like 4.22 uh, from what I've heard. I have heard it had 4.22, right? I haven't seen it with my eyes uh, because right now, there are no pictures out there of the book with four stars and above. And number two, it is only with 2.2 stars, something like that. Right now, what I've seen is a disaster. But you see, the immediate backlash she received, she doubled down. And she actually started going crazy. She compared literally what was happening to her to being raped, to rape culture. Uh, you know, that her experiences were being denied. And actually, people were quick to correct her. Like a lot of people actually were very, very quick to correct her and to tell her that, you know, you comparing your mistakes to rape and to rape culture is just not correct. You should not be doing that because you're trying to emotionally manipulate people into empathizing with you. And this is very sad to me. This is really, really very sad to me because you make a mistake. It's perfectly fine. I've made mistakes in my life. You have made mistakes in your life. But you see, when you're an author, it, it has now gotten out of control. You are a public figure. You cannot let this, you know, you can't just play this bad. You cannot play this bad. And your job is to even understand this. It is to understand people. It is to understand humans. It is to understand narratives and to be able to spin narratives, to convince people of whatever you want, even if, you know, it's not a good thing. That's one of the uh, powers that a writer should have, okay? And to spin a narrative so well that the people will agree with you no matter what. But she lost the narrative. Uh, how can you lose your only job? Like, your only job is to analyze these sort of situations and to be uh, remar remarkable at analyzing social groups and social dynamics so you can write stories about those, okay? Uh, but she lost the narrative and she went absolutely mad. And then the backlash was immediate. And then she doubled down and then she was corrected. And it's just a terrible cycle. It is a terrible cycle. It literally ruined her entire career. For her book went from what I've heard 4.22 stars to literally now being a 2.27 stars. Uh, this is absolutely insane. This is sad. This is pathetic. This situation she is in, this situation Lauren is in, can be easily handled. She made a mistake. She doubled down. She should apologize for the mistake and for doubling down and she should promise in the future to not make the same mistake. It is that simple. If you're racist, if you're homophobic, if you're sexist, it's much more difficult to apologize. In other words, what I'm telling you is what she is getting canceled right now can be managed with few tweets. There are far worse things that she can be canceled for with which 20 years from today, people will still be calling her out on. Okay. And so it, you have to really understand these dynamics as an author. Anyhow, let's talk about the next author, uh, Gabby Hanna, I believe, and she is a huge YouTuber. Okay, so she wrote this particular poetry book. However, this girl called Rachel Oates, she is a booktuber. Her videos are amazing. Her channel is amazing. And she talks about poetry a lot. Uh, she talks about poetry a lot. She reviews, uh, reviews poetry books. And you see, uh, you know, Gabby wrote a poetry book and her book was not special. Uh, her book was just another poetry book in Rachel's uh, channel, right? So Rachel reviewed the book without any attack on Gabby. She reviewed the book without really attacking her personality, uh, Gabby's personality directly. She just talked about the content of the book. In fact, I saw the review myself. And you see, Rachel was as fair as she could have been. She literally analyzed the lines, the syntax. She, she talked about everything down to the nail, okay? She pointed precisely what was wrong with the poetry in this book and how shallow and uninteresting the poetry was, okay? So that's a recap of this of the review and what Rachel did. In other words, I want to tell you, Rachel did nothing wrong. <laughs> Rachel did absolutely nothing wrong. But Gabby had to be crazy. Gabby went out of control. Uh, five months or something like that after the initial review was made, Gabby went on Instagram and she mechanized because you see, Gabby's huge. She is literally so successful. She can drown me 20,000 times over with her audience. Okay. Uh, so I, I'm, a, I'm a bit shaky myself here. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on, moving back to the uh, situation, she mechanized and she weaponized her audience, her massive 
literally gigantic audience and she sent them over to this girl Rachel and Rachel was literally so bullied and so mass flagged that her Instagram account was taken down that's how insane it was and Rachel didn't take down her Instagram uh, in fact they just falsely mass flagged it because that's how huge Gabby is Gabby's audience is so massive she can literally cancel you with one story time Instagram post okay and that is what it was one story time in Instagram post she tried to spin the whole thing such that Gabby was fine there was nothing wrong with her Rachel cannot take criticism that's how narcissistic and abusive this person is and how much she cannot accept any type of criticism which is hilarious because she really thinks that I can't accept criticism when the first time her friend confronted her about her shitty toxic behavior she blamed me the permanent scapegoat of the fucking internet and then stopped talking to her friend face yourself bitch like that's crazy to me and you know why she hasn't critiqued my work in months because the last couple times she did it she started getting overwhelming hate from people both on the internet and in her real life because people started to see through it they were like why are you still going at this girl like relentlessly she can't fucking stop and it's because when she talks about me she gets hundreds of thousands to millions of views and then she posts a little makeup get ready with me and gets four thousand that's why she cares about my art she's not a fucking artist i don't care about her fucking opinion because she has no accomplishments in art or has proven to me that she's actually intellectual enough to understand art anyhow i wish the best for these two authors and i hope that in the future they can fix their mistakes have a nice day bye have, have a nice day after anyway bye bye bye